So I'm up at Wolf Lake today, and this is how I got here. Take it easy when you're coming up this year. Lots of potholes. This is the worst one. Initial thoughts. Ooh. Gonna say 15 to 16. And in goes the watch. Let's pull it in and check that temperature. Not sure if you can see that, but it says 14 degrees. So 14 degrees is still a little cool to be going without a mask and a hoodie. Uh, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Um, 14 at shore, a couple feet down is probably 13 at spots on the surface that I'll be swimming through. So I may have to come back in and switch out for the mask. Depends. Uh, it's all about the ice cream headache today. I'll be fine without the gloves. I'll be fine without the booties. That'll take a bit of acclimatizing, but it's really, can I survive my ice cream headache? I'm not sure what air temp is today. Uh, you can probably see a few little drops. Maybe you can't see the drops on the water, but there's just a light, light sprinkle right now. And there's, you know, cloudy, dark all around me. There's no blue sky or anything. I'm guessing it's probably somewhere around uh, 14 degrees air temp, maybe 15. So not too bad. Um, it's a little wet, but... That doesn't affect me. I'm going to get wet anyway. So we'll see how it goes, and I will, of course, report in after and let you know. First good swim in Wolf Lake this year. Oh, it feels good to get out here. Oh, yeah. Um, 14 everywhere. Um, I'm surprised. I thought it would be 13 at spots, but my watch is reading 14 everywhere. Um, cold a little bit on the hands and the feet, uh, just a little bit stiff in the knuckles a little bit, but we're not talking like, oh, my hands are really cold now. Like I still have full sensation everywhere. So that's fine. The only thing was, like I suspected, that ice cream headache right here and, uh, took about me swimming out to the spot where I go from, which is that post right there. Um, so swimming from here to that post and that took about, I mean, I swam pretty slow cause I was putting my face in the water, trying to acclimatize. So probably it was about a minute of acclimatization, maybe, maybe two minutes, um, a lot less than it was when I was in the ocean where it was a good four minutes to 10 minutes, depending how cold it actually was. So no neoprene cap. No masks, no gloves, no booties. Still had earplugs in. Um, but other than the Roca Thermal, which I'm wearing, um, I'll probably be downgrading to my non-thermal suit pretty quick. Still full arms, just a mill taken out of the body and everywhere else. So it'll be a little, and, and it has a lining in it that makes you a little bit warmer. I did not need it today. Um, it was mostly just the hands, the feet, and like I said, that ice cream headache. You saw it was 14 degrees here. Let's go do a test of Comox Lake and the ocean. We're at Comox Lake, and there's my watch dangling on the end of a rope. I tried to be as fair as I could by putting it fairly shallow here because the water, you can see there's a current where stuff is moving along quite nicely. So there's no real still water at the edge here. All right, let's pull it up and see what we get. And it's 10 degrees. Ouch. So yeah, anybody thinking that now's the time to hit Comox Lake and not Wolf Lake? Ooh, 
Let's go check the ocean. And in goes the watch. All right, let's pull it in and check that temperature. 14 degrees. It just clicked up to 15. Hopefully you saw the 14. Oh, there we go. So, Wolf Lake and the ocean are the same temperature. But keep in mind, that's pretty shallow in ocean here. If you get out to some depth, like out there where you'll actually be swimming, it's probably going to be a degree cooler. Stay safe out there. I'll see you on the water. There you go. Well, don't go back to the water. What are you doing?